Hey everybody, what's up? So we made it over here. We are over at Mr. Eric's house from Greenhorn One Acre. So as you guys can see right now, we are out here off grid and he's cooking up some uh, barbecue right now for us. We're about to get the grilling going on. But we decided we wanted to come over here and make our rounds for our last goodbyes. We met you over at the meetup. Meetup last October. Yep. No. Yeah, so, and we've clicked since then. It's been it's, watching each other's videos, commenting, and uh, they took time to come over to see me before. They Had take to. off to Arkansas. What the hell? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Desert folks going out to yeah. the woods. So we wanted to come over here and uh, say our goodbyes and relax and be able to hang out again. You're going to come to the next meetup too, right? Definitely. I'll be there in May. Yeah. Thank you. Go see everybody again and uh, see new people that are coming. It's going to be a yeah. really good it's time. It's going to be awesome. The first one was really fun. The second one I know is going to be even better. Oh, that's going to be a blast. It's going to be yeah. huge. Yeah. I went the first time I went there, I was a brand new YouTuber and I went over there to see uh, the youtubers simple life reclaimed the crockers that you all know yep. and uh now people are coming over they're gonna want to see me i'm like yep. what the heck it's crazy <laughs> this, the community is just amazing when you start getting out there you start putting yourself forward um the people that you meet is honestly the biggest one of the biggest reasons why we do this yeah it's for yep. the friendship as well as you know saving our family's memories exactly and, you know being able to see our progress and how we've how far we've come on different projects and things exactly and I know that's why you're doing it too, man. Yeah, I'm doing it to share. I started, my son gave me the idea. And I just bought the property and I was like, I'm going to do this, do this. He goes, you should YouTube it. And I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> and then I started sharing it and people have been watching it. And oh, we love, love watching. Love everything. It's been yeah. awesome, man. It's we, fun. We love watching. Right down to the coffee in the morning. How did I start that? <sighs> my first video was I had a coffee in my hand and I was like, okay, record. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> So he's been showing us around. He has a very beautiful property. Beautiful. It's actually close to where, sort of kind of close to where when Gary and I were thinking we were going to stay in Arizona, it's kind of sort of in that area. The landscape is very similar. In other words, it is gorgeous, phenomenal property out here. Yes. And when he says he's off grid, he is off grid. Let me tell you what, we had to come up the road. We're like doing this with a <laughs> four by four. Yeah, so off grid that I'm sitting here waiting for him and I hear a truck far away and I was like, oh, they're coming. There's yep. no else, nobody else comes up here. <laughs> they're here. <laughs> so while we have you here and while we have you on camera, um, Gary has a couple of questions that Gary and I wanted to ask you. Let me scoot on over here. So we're going to ask you a few questions about your channel. And that way, anybody that's out there in YouTube land looking for another really awesome channel to watch, Go over, support him. He's a really good friend of ours. Yes. He is building this beautiful tiny house that you see behind us. He's doing it all by himself, guys, and it's a lot of work, and it sure is a beauty. You guys are going to love watching him build this thing. We got the whole grand tour. If you guys want to see the tour, go over to his channel, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and check up on his last videos. You got a playlist, right? I have a playlist from beginning... Okay. No? from breaking ground all the way to now so you guys will you guys will be able to see the whole progress of it and where he's at right now um, all the mistakes yeah. <laughs> hey, that's all part hey, of the fun it's right learning there. it's learning yeah yeah it, it's how it goes man you know what? if you see a channel and they have every single thing perfect and there's not a single mistake they edited it out yep. i'm just gonna say that they just didn't include that because we all make mistakes yeah you know? oh yeah but the work you do is phenomenal and beautiful, and I just can't wait to see it finished. Yes. We've been following along your journey, watching you do this, and it's just been great to be able to sit yeah, down. Yeah, it's the fun. Computer, it's fun sharing the journey along. and then, you know, at making the video, and then it's like haven't seen people watching it and I was like yeah. wow that's pretty cool yeah because like, that's what I do I watch other people's channels and yeah. follow them from zero to nothing and it's how it's, it's fun it's yeah. how it goes man it's a lot better in TV oh, right? wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's real yes, so yes. some of you guys might not know you might have caught along by the accent but you actually are from Canada right I'm Canadian yep I've been here for like 16 years right I retired from the Canadian military had to move somewhere and uh, my ex, my baby's mama, she was actually born here, but raised in Canada and just said, let's go to Arizona. There you go. I had no clue what Arizona looked like. <laughs> I thought it was like completely desert dunes. And I was like, no, there's trees or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just came down here and you just fell in love with the landscape? Yeah, I've been here since and uh, just love it. The weather. I mean, of course, the summer's hot and treacherous. 
and I, I almost left. I almost said, that's it. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it does get pretty hot. Yes. When come winter time, I was still in shorts and flip flops. I was like, oh yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm, st I'm staying. This is the place for me. <laughs> So how bad was your first summer out here? Oh my gosh. We actually came in May, got our rental property. It's beautiful in May. And we moved in July. It was scorching 120 degrees in July. My dog was dying in the kennel. My daughter was four years old and she's like, Daddy, I'm burning. I'm burning. <laughs> and I couldn't get the AC cranked up enough in the van to right. cool off. And I was like, what the hell? And then three days later, a monsoon hit, yep. took the trampoline across the field. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I said, stop unpacking. We're putting everything in the U-Haul. We're driving straight up north. I can't do this. But we had family coming over that winter and stuff. And and uh, baby's mama was saying, OK, yeah, we got family. I was like, all right, we'll stick around. Yeah. But the, the first two weeks, I was like, no way. We're, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I see why yeah. people come, I see why things come here to die. <laughs> yeah. But then come October, November, December, it's gorgeous. I'm yep. still in shorts and flip flops. And I was like, yeah. That's awesome. It's, I mean, it's the desert has its own beauty out here. Um, some people, they don't like it. Some people love it. And personally, we love it. Yeah. We're just, you know, for us in our stage of life, we're ready for something different. Something but I, new, yeah. I totally understand why people come here. Like your new was my new then when I came here. Right. And I just love it. Yeah. Just sticking around. And there's still more plans. There's still more changes, yeah. you know. Yep. Yeah. So what made you come up with the name Greenhorn One Acre? Well, when my son said, "Hey, Dad, you should you should vi YouTube your uh, your your build and everything you're doing on your property," because I had just bought my one acre. Yeah, it's just slightly over an acre. And he goes, "I go, yeah, sure." He goes, "What would you call it?" I'm like, "Greenhorn." He goes, and he looked at me. He goes, "Why greenhorn?" Because being in the Navy, a greenhorn is somebody who's new. In the military, when you're a greenhorn, you're new, you're unexperienced, you have no clue. What the hell you're doing okay. and that's me i have no clue what the hell i'm doing <laughs> i'm buying an off-grid property i want to build a little tiny cabin and i have other projects and it's the first time i'm doing it therefore i'm a greenhorn that, that and everything i intend to put on my channels everything new yeah. yeah what do your kids think about you doing all this they really support it they watch it yeah. and my daughter has her life with her kids her babies and stuff so i'm a grandfather before I'm 50. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God Congrats. bless you. Yeah, Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, they watch it. And the, even uh, my ex watches it. And she goes, yeah, she was here last week because they bought property a, a little further away. And uh, and she goes, oh yeah, you drink your coffee. And they're like, oh, you're watching. And she goes, yeah, I'm watching. So, so what uh, kind of wildlife have you seen out here since you've been here? I've seen, well, ranchers have cattle around here. I've seen deer. Tons of birds coming around, like the the people down the road, they uh, actually feed the birds and whatnot. So okay. you'll have a hawk come by, oh, all yeah. the birds leave. <laughs> and then you'll once the hawk leaves, all the birds come in. Yep. So huge flocks of birds. I've seen deer. I've seen tracks of elk. Because they're smaller than cattle, but yet bigger than a deer. Yeah. And rabbit. Yeah. There's a okay. crap load of rabbits in the evening. You'll see them bounce around and stuff. And yeah. Uh, do you plan on uh, coyotes? Because we're in Arizona and it's a desert. But there's coyotes <laughs> worldwide, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> coyotes are they tend they're to be. They're just fatter yeah. in some regions here. Yeah. They're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> do they, do, so, what animal is the biggest nuisance out here for you? I think the ranchers. We I could close off my property, but uh, the ranchers, the cattle's. Uh, it's open range in Arizona, so the cattle will just walk by and they'll leave cow patties pretty much where I don't really want them. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. never where you need it. <laughs> Although, if you ever start gardening or anything, uh, the cow patties are fantastic. Yeah, that's a good helping. way to fertilize you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. good one. Natural free fertilizer, right? Yeah. <laughs> Make the just best mix of it. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a good one. So do you plan on getting any animals or any uh, gardens or anything like that? Uh, that's something way down in the future when I get really old, I guess, when I come up here more permanently because we all have a life. I'm working. Yeah. Yep. And so I'm up here three days a week or two days a week. Yep. Okay. So I got a couple of other projects part time. Yep. But once I come up here full time, I do want to build a sustainable garden yeah. and maybe some chickens, but that's pretty much it. 
Beekeeping no. is something that's interesting too, because then I could just sell off the honey and whatnot as income or whatever. Too. Wild Back honey there. is so good. Yes. I've had I've had um, people's beekeeped honey before. I used to work where we live right now. I used to work at a gas station, believe it or not. And there was a guy. That, there was a trailer park behind the gas station, and one of the dudes that worked at the trailer park, he used to go out and like to the random desert. And he would find the bees, and he would go and steal all their honey and take oh, all. Oh wow! Take, like raw. Like raw. Right. Yeah. Like straight, not beekeep, like wild like honey. Like open up a tree and take yes. out the honey. And take, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> poo. Yeah. <laughs> he did. And he would bring me in these big mason jars. I crap you not. That was the best honey Insane. that I've ever had yeah. in my life. Yeah. And whenever allergy season, if you can get it raw from the area. If you have allergies or anything like that, yes. do the natural honey. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. It's, yeah, it's an antibiotic. It's, yeah. yeah, it's really good. So I could see. So that's not, that's something because there's plenty of room for it and yeah. stuff, so right? I could see yeah, you doing yeah. that, but I, awesome. I agree with you. Infrastructure is key. You want to make sure that you're getting yourself set up before you have any more mouths to feed in water, right. especially like yep. the water, you know, out here. Yeah, water desert. here, it's there's going to be some catchment, but it's very minimal, yep. yeah. you know. And that goes so, with the gardening too. You don't want to plant all this stuff and then have it all die. Exactly. Yep. But I, I've seen, I've seen like hydroponics gardening and stuff that yeah. I'll lean towards yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a really good idea, dude. Yeah. I think it's, you have a beautiful place out here. It's very secluded. The mountain views, guys. Oh, the mountain views. I'll show you That's guys That's what sold that. me on the property. Yeah. When I came up the road, it was like on a ridge. Yep. And you'll you'll show it. It's it's amazing. I've shown it on my videos a few times, too. It's, I'll, I'll yeah, show really you good. guys all the mountain stuff and like when we're driving in and out. But for the most part, if you guys want to see what he's got going on over here, you guys got to head on over to his channel. His name is Eric yeah. with Greenhorn, Greenhorn One, Acre. One Acre. Oh yeah. yeah. So you guys are going <laughs> to love him. You guys, he has a lot of really great videos of his builds and of his stuff. He's a great personality. You guys will just enjoy it. So I encourage you highly to come on over to his channel. Check it out. Step, step on that Simple Life Reclaim sent you guys. And um, just check out what he's got going on because he's got a lot of building oh, yes. stuff going on. So if that's your thing, he's your thing. Yep. It's not going to take forever like Jason Crocker either. Uh, <laughs> <burn>. <laughs> yeah, you're getting it done, man. I'm getting I'll it tell done. you that. You're getting yeah. it done. A few days at a time. A yeah. few days at a time. <laughs> Amen. So we're going to actually get to throwing these hamburgers out yeah, on the we're grill. we're going to start grilling. Yeah, we got, we're got. we burning up those grub. coals, so we got to yep. get it get it while it's still getting it. <laughs> so we're going to catch you guys a little bit later, but I wanted to show you guys and introduce you to one of our good friends. If you will be at the meetup, you guys be, be friendly. Come on over, say hello, introduce yourself. I'll um, be there with my smile. Yeah. Oh, yes. So make sure that you do come on over if you do come up to the meetup. But anyways, we're going to get to grilling and we hope that you guys have enjoyed this segment of the video and we'll catch you guys back at our house in Arizona.